What's on your easel? What's on your easel? What's on your easel today? So the sexy redhead Darcy sends in, it says cat, and she didn't give me any information, so that means I get to make it up, which is funny to me. Uh, so here's a smoothie card with a cat on it. I think we need to zoom out. Here's a smoothie card with a cat on it. And then, stinchy braired pumpkin soup, guacamole, thyme peas, and autumn fire colors on there. And some words. She stamped some words on the cat. You know, I'm already enthralled. It's a cat. Selected lots of smaller stamps, leaves, and borders, and stamped them with fresco paints. And then she... Trimmed out the cat so that it looked more like a cat. And then she doodled around all the stamped images with a black pen. Ooh. Chevrons, leaves, snowflakes, suns and moons, green stars, pink hearts, and yellow diamonds. Alright, painted another piece of card black and glued it onto the back and cut it out leaving a small border. So look at the kitty. Yay! Here's some of the stamps that she used. The nose is one of these stamps from uh, the thistle flower. And she added some whiskers. I really need to show you these stamps. Darcy, our sexy red of Darcy, makes these stamps, designs these stamps, and sends them off. And paper artsy turns them into, into stamps. And she added some blue background. Here's a close up of the face. So here's her pretty kitty. Okay, so that's what the sexy red hat Darcy. I'm gonna show you this. There's Darcy's cat. There's the sexy red-headed Darcy's cat. Just going to leave that there for you. All right. Uh, so that's Darcy. And then Kelly sent in. What Kelly sent in? Kelly Burns sent in. Do, do, do an art journal page. Ooh, look at there. I've been 50. I know. It happens. Look at there. Kelly Burns got an art journal page. All the different shapes in the background, and she's got the face and stuff on here. I like that. Nice. Very nice, Kelly. Is Kelly still here? No, she went to good. That Kelly went to Goodwill with her with her uh, son. Okay, so I think those were the only entries I had. Uh, yeah, everything else is something about male enhancement. So those are the only entries that I had for what's on your easel. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you a little bit about what I've been working on. and. When I did the burlesque thing, when I did, because uh, I'm a burlesque dancer, you know, when I went to the, uh, when I went to the Dr. Sketchies, uh, I s stopped in Walmart and I picked up this little Crayola doodle pad because it was a dollar and, it, and it's newsprint, it's just newsprint, just like you, would, and, it, and it was a dollar and for little cheap daily sketches, this is, this is perfect because I don't, I don't feel like I'm wasting any any material by doing this, but you'll remember I I did the uh, I did the uh, the sketches from Doctor Sketchies. Well, I have continued on um, after Doctor after Doctor Sketchies. Do, 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 that was a Doctor Sketchies. After Doctor Sketchies, 
I went on to uh, start, I went back to getting models off the internet because there's no shortage of models on the internet to make up. And, and, and mostly because they won't let me, uh, the wife won't let me bring figure models back to the hotel room. So I've been practicing figure drawing with models off the internet. But that's not the really exciting thing. For me, the really exciting thing, the one I really, really want to show you about is uh, Jeanette Jobson from uh, Illustrated Life. She's in Nova Scotia. No, no, she's not. She's in Newfoundland. I'm sorry. She's a Newfie. Um, she does this thing where she does uh, uh, value sketches every morning while she's drinking coffee. And she did a blog post about it. Every morning while she's drinking coffee, she does these value sketches. And uh, I was impressed by that. You know, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, well, every day she just grabs three random objects off of her shelf and she does these value sketches. And that's how she warms up her day while she's drinking coffee before she, before she goes off to create this fabulous art. And I thought, you know what? That would be a great habit to get into. And for the last several weeks, I thought, I should get into that habit. I should get into that habit of just doing some value sketches every day. Every day, I ought to just do some value sketches. And you know, I overthought it. And, and every, every time it was like, oh, well, I just don't have anything to do value sketches on. I, you know, there's nothing exciting. I have, there's no way to get, just get three random objects and do value sketches. Value sketches. So what I did uh, Sunday while I was at the airport on my way to North Dakota, I'm walking around. I have four hours to kill, right? I'm walking around the airport. There's a toy store in the airport because, you know, kids cry. And one of the things, and that's why there's bars right next to it too because, you know, kids cry. Uh, one of the things they had at the airport were these tubes. And if you're unfamiliar, this one is pirates. They're tubes. It's a tube. It's a tube. It has a little spinning globe on the top of it. It is a tube of... This one is a tube of pirate stuff. Arr. That's a girl pirate, by the way. You can tell because she's a ginger. And, you know, barrels with gunpowder and, and cannonballs and fuse rope. Can't see it. Anyway, it's a whole tube of different, of different pirate stuff. And, and I saw this one, and I thought, you know, that'd be, that'd be perfect for doing little sketches of. But there, there weren't enough skeletons and stuff. So then I saw this one, which is also pirate stuff. And it's, it has these little pirates like this. And, but then it has this whole army of the damn thing. And so I couldn't, I walked back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then finally I just realized, hey, I'm an adult with my own money. I don't really have to decide which one I want. So I got them both. And then I thought, you know what, I'll just start collecting these because they have different ones. They have like birds and, uh, and airplanes and cars and, and dolphins and, and sea life and... There's a whole bunch of them. Look up Tube, T-O-O-B. They're from uh, Safari. Uh, there's a sticker over it. Safari LTD is who puts them out. You can't see it. It'll be blurry. It'll look like somebody licked the camera. Safari LTD is who puts them out. And it's Tube, T-O-O-B. Look them up. They have hundreds of different collections. And I thought, wow, how great would that be every payday? Just go buy one, get a big jug of them, and then just turn it upside down, dump out three, and draw them. And so... That's what was one of the things that was, was exciting for me on my easels because there I was at the airport uh, doing value sketches of pirates, right? Arr. And so we. And so every morning I've gotten up. And I've just done a value sketch of pirates. And it's, it's been kind of fun. And it's made me want to do more. <laughs> the hooker and pimp tube, Dave. Really? Michaels and Hobby Lobby do carry them. Yes. Uh, and Michaels has them for, if, if you have a Michaels, the Michaels in, in, uh, uh, here in Oklahoma, they had them for like 10 bucks. So, but yeah, I've just been doing... I've just been doing value sketches every morning of, of pirates. So that is what was on my easel. That is what was on your easel. If you would like to be a part of what's on your easel, just send an email to blade at artisticbiker.com.
www.ezelsmedia.com with the subject line easel, and we'll use your works to inspire other people to do stuff because that's what this is all about. So, yeah, just send an email, bladedartisticbiker.com with the subject line easel, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get them online. And, and I didn't get the newsletter out this week, but normally uh, we try to get them in the newsletter so that we can show them off and people can look them out. But I had some internet issues in North Dakota, so we didn't we didn't get the. Uh, I know I suck. Anyway, that said, um, this is not quite dry, so we're going to dry this just a little bit. We'll take a little break and we'll be right back. The treasure be located atop Blue Moon Fountain in the Crazy Bread Hills. Ah! The entrance is guarded by an army of the damned. Oh. Arg. You'll be watching the Artistic Biker Live Thursdays, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Central at artisticbiker.com slash ustream. That be the letter U. Stream. Arr.